who love is dead Oh, well, I packed up my suitcase Yeah, took off down the road Yeah, man Little white stripes for no reason whatsoever Just because it's it's wonderful and sexy and and uh, and so good, right? It just hits you in the whole, hits you in the chest. I have fucking white stripes, man. Love them. <clears throat> I think the girl went crazy. I think she went a little, uh, she went a little schizo, and uh, they they that's why they fizzled out. I mean, they could have went on forever, you know. It's just a two piece band. But anyway, so let's talk about let's talk about uh, student loan debt, student loan debt, and free college tuition at city and state universities. Taking center stage today as we approach the Democratic primaries, right? Two, um, two notable progressive, quote, progressive, whatever that means, candidates, the Bernie Sanders and, um, and uh, Elizabeth Warren, Pocahontas, running neck and neck, trying to out-socialize one another with uh, free college tuition at city and state universities. And Bernie Sanders today will come out with something uh, even more uh, progressive or more <clears throat> in favor of the people by deleting all student loans. So we'll talk about that. Electric planes. They always told us, you know, you know, they said, oh, no, no, rocket fuel. You can't fly a plane without jet fuel. It's a jet. You can't fly a plane without jet fuel. So there's a company in uh, Israel, right, uh, pioneering small <clears throat> small aircraft, commercial small aircraft that run on, on batteries. Oh, shit, they told us we couldn't do it, but we're doing it. Right? <clears throat> and uh, Pompeo, Pompeo is off in Saudi Arabia, uh, <clears throat> kissing ass, sucking, babinga, you know what I'm saying? He's down on his knees in Saudi Arabia, sucking up to the Saudi king. So we'll look up briefly at that. But first, let's look at, um, let's look at the student loan stuff. So Bernie Sanders is going to roll out today. Bernie Sanders' free college tuition proposal just got a whole lot bigger. Oh, boy. <clears throat> right? How are you going to pay for it? Oh, you know, there's ways to pay for it. How are you going to pay for all the, all the wars in, in, uh, in, in the Middle East right now? How are you going to pay for all that? How are you going to, why, you just knocked down a $125 million plane out of the sky that has no function other, uh, other than to instigate war. Why don't you take that and put it towards college tuition? There's plenty of money. Uh, so and also, uh, Bernie, he wants to do it on a, uh, on a uh, trading tax, on a Wall Street uh, speculation tax. Every time... Wall Street goes in, they pay. Every time they go out, they pay. It's probably a good idea. Uh, it would actually slow down trading activity uh, as well. So paying for it is not a problem because we're a very wealthy nation. There's plenty of ways to pay for it. Chop down the military budget, you know, is a, a hundred ways. So Senator Bernie Sanders proposed to make college tuition in the United States um, uh, debt-free. All uh, there's a hundred. I'm sorry, 1.6 trillion dollars. 1.6 trillion dollars of student debt would be erased. Whoa! Vermont Senator will unveil the most ambitious higher education plan in the Democratic 2020 presidential primary so far on Monday. So today. Uh, but they they explain pretty much. We'll hear it in his own words later on today. But let's listen to. Let's see what he's going to propose. The proposal would make two- and four-year public and tribal colleges and universities tuition-free and debt-free and erase roughly $1.6 trillion in student loan currently owed uh, in the U.S. Um, uh, and paid for by a tax on Wall Street. I just explained to you. You know, a couple of pennies in, a couple of pennies out. It amounts to a lot of money at the end of the year. Currently, about 45 million Americans have student loans. I don't know if that's the best way to pay for it, but it certainly, it doesn't really matter because, again, college tuition at city and state universities should be free, just like high school. And the debt is outrageous. So most people, you know, they get their tax check confiscated for 10 years. They can't pay. They get, they lose their, their passport, their driver's license. They get, you know, destroyed credit. Right? For what? For what? Give it, give it up. Give it up. Right? So, you know, college tuition isn't, uh, a college education isn't, the diploma isn't worth what it used to be worth. Uh, so go in that direction. And people say, oh, why should I pay for, why should I pay for that guy's college? And I didn't go to college. Why should I pay for his college when I didn't go to college? Well, maybe you didn't go to college because you couldn't go to college because you, you chose to, you know, uh, slave labor, right? So, well, maybe you couldn't choose. I'm not, I'm not saying that 
because you worked and didn't go to college, you should pay. I'm just saying that in a in a in this time, at this time in history, college tuition at city and state universities, free, and eliminating student debt is a good idea. Not using debt. Right now, student debt is considered revenue in states. Right? But it's really not because it who's why does the student loan keep going up? Right? People pay, but and then they, they tackle the lawyers tackle on other um, expenses on top of it. Oh yeah, legal expenses. They took five hundred dollars out of your tax check, or they confiscated your whole two three grand tax check, and then add six hundred dollars on in in legal fees or a thousand in legal fees. So you lose the money, and then they keep adding more onto it. So ten years pass, and you're, you 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 owe more than you started to owe. You initially owed, plus they already paid probably the whole thing 10 times over. It's crazy, right? So eliminate all that stuff. Sanders is, oh, but you said, oh, no, when you were 18, you signed and said you would pay it back. Well, the economies have changed since the 80s and 90s and 2000, right? It's not, it's not worth what it was. Right? So, and, and a lot of people now are strapped down with hundreds of thousands of dollars in student loans that they just simply can't pay. So... Sanders is proposing uh, funding streams to states, whatever, what, whatever the, the thing is, right? So the proposal would cost two point two trillion over years. They would give money to the states, delete the student loans, give money to the to the colleges, right? States would have to sign on to it. Uh, states would have to sign on to it. If they don't, then they wouldn't be eligible to receive the monies. States will sign on for it. There's an interesting argument that says. Um, that Hillary Clinton proposed it in 2017. The bill would have eliminated tuition and, f- and fees for families making up to $125,000, um, conceding to Clinton's argument that the government shouldn't have to cover costs of families who can afford to send their kids to college. Okay, here's the deal. It's a stupid, it's a stupid argument, and I'll tell you why. First of all, rich people don't send their kids to city and state universities. They don't go there, right? You don't go to community college. Go to go to in New York City. There's ten of them. Go stand there and see how many millionaires you have. How many kids of of extreme wealth go to those schools? They don't. They send them to private school because why? Because the money is irrelevant to them. And also, a lot of I mean, my experience. I went to Syracuse. I went to Syracuse University in the eighties. Right, way out of my league. Way out of my 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 financial league. Right, and and um. And I found that my study there was in people and that uh, you're surrounded by wealthy people. Wealthy people send their kids to wealthy schools to meet other wealthy kids. Right? That's, a, that's, a, that's a fee and an expense they're willing to pay. See, as a poor person, you don't get it right? because you'd say, well, why would I pay to col- go to college if I can do it for free? Because that's a, that's a poor person's mentality. Wealthy people don't think like that. They send their kids to Harvard and Yale and Syracuse because it's expensive and it's and it's elite and and is get these freaking poor people and minorities the hell away from us, right? That's what they think, right? And you, you think I'm kidding? That's what they do, right? So, so Bernie's got this great idea. He's going to get rid of all the uh, if elected president. He's going to plug it, and uh, we'll see. I mean, you know, you, you need a tsunami of support to get it done. Uh, so. What else? And a point oh oh five tax on derivative trades. <laughs> That's good. Hey, fuck Wall Street, man. Fuck it, tax them, man. But there's other ways to pay for it. Look, if you if you eliminate big pharma, if you eliminate the uh, the the bulk of the military industrial complex, if you if you take big oil down a couple of notches, get rid of all those subsidies that big oil, all the all the socialism, the corporate socialism that all these corporations get for free, and you give it back to the people, there's no problem paying for this. Great idea. So Elizabeth Warren gets credit for starting it, but she wanted to do, uh, would eliminate 50,000 student loan debts for anyone under 100 in annual household income. Uh, again, the argument, that argument is moot because, again, rich people don't send their kids to, to uh, poor people's school. Right? So, oh, and here, there's another, just a, a tidbit, right? And again, I, I'm not. I'm. I'm the most. Un, I'm probably the least racist person that I know. 
Uh, so, I mean, that's a funny thing to say. I'm not racist. I, I don't even know what, what it means anymore. But what I do know, statistically, it means when, when these people over here get in front of the line because of the color of their skin, that is racism. That's how I perceive it. Whether you're black, whether you're white, whether, whatever. Whoever is, is getting pushed to the front of the line and in front of all these other people because of the color of their skin, that is, is racism in action. Affirmative action is racism. Researchers, so, so what does that have to do with the student loans, right? Here's another way that student loan forgiveness and free college tuition at city and state universities uh, works to people's advantage is that you have this overt uh, discrimination in, in colleges, right? Listen, listen to this. Right? The, that half of the, half horror, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. So horror, oh, no, but argue that the data from the Georgetown study, the Wall Street Journal reports, rather shocking. What is the headline? I forgot what the headline. Oh, yeah. Black Latino enrollment in U.S. colleges is almost double what it would be on merit alone. Wow. So half of the, half of the, the black and Latino enrollment is fixed, is, 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 um, is subsidized because of the color of people's skin. That is obscene. That is outrageous. That's one of the reasons why you can, you can eliminate all these affirmative action rules by just simply making college tuition free and make college hard. Don't make it simple. Uh, you, yeah, you could get in, but don't make it where any idiot could sit in a class and fall asleep and get a degree. That's not what you should do. It should become more competitive, right? Make it free, but competitive. Well, you make it hard. Make it fucking like if you can't read, don't come to college. Learn how to read before you get here. You know that kind of stuff. Don't give foreigners a break. Look, this is this this is the system. This is what we got. This is what we offer. If you're if you're at the top of your class in high school and, and you want to go to college, you got it, man. You got it. Take the SAT. Merit. I scored the highest grade on this test, a test that everyone has to take. I don't care what the freak color of your skin is, right, or where you come from. If you can pass the test, you should be able to do it. So, so uh, eliminating all of these, um, all of these uh, you know, affirmative action ideas that are in action uh, in uh, schools should also be gone away. So that's enough about that. So let's let's talk about electric planes. Right? We've been told a whole a whole lives. No, no, no! You can't fly a plane. What are you gonna do? Like the fucking, <laughs> fucking jerk off. They fucking fly a plane with no fucking gas. It's stupid fucking. What are you gonna do? Put a solar panel on the top? You fucking stupid mother. Right? That's one of the arguments, right? That that the, that the derelict, dereliction. Minded say, oh, you can't. You got to keep digging for oil. Right? Fucking by 2050, we're all going to be dead if we keep sucking the oil out of the ground. Uh, 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 extincting species, uh, species are getting blown out. Right? It's not going to be nothing left but humans and the animals humans eat. Right? At the, at this trajectory right now, right? no more lions and di- tigers and bears. Polar bears are starving up in the in the North Pole. We're killing off all of, you know, Africa used to be, you know, wildlife, right? It used to be like, uh, you know, wild kingdom. You watch the, the animals and the gazelles. It's all gone. It's all fucking gone. A giraffe. A giraffe is almost extinct. I mean, come on. Wake up. Right? That kind of stuff, right? So move towards, move towards battery operator. Oh, yeah, the fucking Congo. Oh, you're going to take their precious minerals to make your batteries. Find better ways to make batteries. Find the most efficient ways to make batteries. We're moving in that direction. Sucking the fuel out of the fucking ground. Right? Sucking out all the resources, leaving craters in the earth, causing tsunamis in the ocean is not a smart idea. Right? Starting wars over oil. That's what's going on right now. Right? Wars over oil. So they found a way. Right? Listen. Uh, they call it Alice. Alice is the first electric plane powered by three rear facing pusher propellers, <laughs> uh, one in the back and two at each uh, wing ro- rotation. Uh, aviation CEO Omar told reporters that the plane seats nine passengers and can travel 265 miles an hour at 10,000 feet uh, over a distance of 650 miles. Uh, so 250 miles an hour, 275 is not top speed, 
I think a regular aircraft, a regular uh, commercial plane flies about 500 miles an hour and can go as high as 30,000 feet and can travel, you know, can travel thousands of miles. So it's an inferior plane thus far. However, I mean, progress is progress, right? The first cell phone, the first fucking handheld phone looked like a, like a, like a, like a boot. Right? It's like you're carrying around a boot, right? Now it's streamlined and it's it's essentially, you know, it's your it's your computer in your hand. It's a it's a full blown PC in your hand. Uh, so can we do it with batteries? Of course we can do it. Uh, is it possible? Is big oil gonna like the idea? Here's a there's a whole Air. video. Cape Air. This Israeli guy talking he about it. He will his usher plane. in a double digit size fleet of Alice's within the next five years. Why do all salesmen talk like this? Why do they say, like, I'm going to, here, here we go. I'm going to sell you something. I'm selling you something. Why, why not? Where's the humanity to sales? This is a very, very significant moment for us, not only because we can roll out the plane. Ah, and- shut the hell up. Who cares what you're going to say? So, so the other thing that is uh, interesting is this. Clearmont Group, a private investment firm of Singapore-based billionaire Richard Chandler. Um, Richard Chandler. Has uh, has been the top. I, re- I know that name from somewhere. I don't know where I know it. Has been the top funder of uh, Elevation since inspiration inception. Claremont has given uh, Elevation seventy six million in exchange for seventy percent of the stake. Right. So there's a billionaire heavily invested. Um, uh, it's you might as well call it Claremont Airlines at this point if he's got seventy five percent. So here's what the plane looks like. I guess this is a giant battery over here and a couple of three planes. If if one goes down, they got two other planes. It's probably very safe. So electric planes, I like the idea. I think it's a great idea. I think it's 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 very, very promising. Let's see if we can go further. So so here's here's Pompeo over in um he's out in Saudi Arabia, right? And he's talking to the king, right? This is this is um I found this in uh in uh he's over there servicing the king. Right? Pompeo, right? over oil. Right? So, so Dubai, right? Dubai, United uh, Arab Emirates, U, uh, U.S. Secretary of State, Prime Minister, <laughs> U.S. Prime Mike Pompeo, right? He's in Saudi Arabia on Monday, um, talking with the king of 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 Saudi Arabia about Iran. And, and how they shot down our drone. I, I told you right away that the thing was a false flag. And now evidence is coming out through GPS uh, uh, data. I saw it somewhere that it showed that the drone actually was flying over Iran. And they shot it down. I told you it was bullshit. Right? Get, your plane out my, get, you know, get your plane out of my backyard. That was what I, my initial uh, view. And of course it's true. Right? It's, it's, just, it's all bullshit, right? It's all... You know the the rich history of swindling Iran out of oil is a uh, very rich, a very uh, very American her- uh, you know American uh, thing since the fifties. Remember, I talked about it yesterday with Mossadegh in the in nineteen fifty one, and then in fifty three where they overthrew him and um, you know installed the Shah of Iran and it was taken over by you know uh, Ayatollah Khomeini. Uh, so there there's Pompeo. He's back in there. He's ready to. He's ready to suck off the king of king of king of uh, Salman Salman right? And um, what does it all mean? What is he doing there, right? What is he doing there, right? All the money spent, all the all the all the resources spent, all the the military operation, the war, the death, right? All for what? For 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 because because a a country that is is resource rich in oil, wants to sell their oil into the market, wants to develop weapons to protect themselves from the from the psychopaths that keep shooting down their, you know, flying drones over their house and and um, and such, right? Is it a bad is it, why are we why are we there? Right? That's the point. Why is Pompeo, you know, sucking off the 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 king of Saudi Arabia who's who's instigating war in Yemen, right? You got, you think they're, all the money and, the, and bombs that we're giving to Saudi Arabia, they're using to, to, to slaughter Yemen and the, the Houthi rebels, whatever, the Houthi, the Houthi rebels, 
right, in, in Yemen fighting for their freedom. Right, get, just get out of there, man. Get out of there and stop, stop funding these, these hostile regimes, these anti-humanitarian regimes like Saudi Arabia. And um, let's get busy, man. Let's build some electric planes. Let's, make, let's educate our people. Right. Let's give them health care and, and elevate the standard of living in this country and stop ripping people off. Let's give people, you know, uh, a, a, a better life in America. Not a free life, but a better life, a life that that uh, a, sh- a life of shared prosperity in the in the prosperity of this country. Let's let's make the corporations who are not people. Let them reciprocate for all the good that we have done them. All of the corporate socialism that they've received over the 30 years, now let's shift it back to the people. That's what the New Deal is all about. That's what that's what Brother Sanders, Brother Bernie Sanders is talking about, right? This 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 um this this return to a, the extension of what FDR was talking about with a New Deal. He never got it done. So so Mark Scotty reporting and uh, kind of like becoming a Patreon of this channel. And uh, if you'd like to make a one-time contribution, kind of, kind of do that too. Marcus Conte reporting.